Mm -mm. He tries to cut off your clitoris, make you a Barbie doll, you grab a knife and say, Lorraine about the time. Don't make me go Cobra. I will go Oprah on your ass. Don't make me. Mm -mm. Cause what are we dealing with? We are dealing with fundamentalists. The Amish are fundamentalists, but they don't try and hijack a carriage at needlepoint. Now, and if you're ever in Amish country and see a man with his arm buried in a horse's ass, that's a mechanic. Remember that. Well, who are we looking for? We are looking for Osama Bin Laden, one of 52 children. Even Freud would say, he has issues. <laughs> what does he look like without the beard? Howard Stern, Barbara Streisand? I don't know, I don't care. <laughs> I know this. He is a six foot five Arab on dialysis. Why is that so fucking hard to find? <laughs> He's like, oh, little for that. Look for somebody attached to the luggage. Be -de 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 -de. <laughs> Try this. I also know one thing. When you see the tapes of him, you see a psychopath very calmly talking about horrible things and went, wait a minute, we have some of our own. Theodore Kaczynski sitting around with nothing to do. Ted's played a beautiful mind the home game. <laughs> you give Ted a mailing list and some tools. You say, Ted, these people have been bad. He goes, are they bad? Oh, very bad. I just need a few, I just want a few things. Oh, I know you do. <laughs> Here you go. Or maybe we get Charles Manson, great organizer, incredible with chicks, but no, you can't use him. Because Chucky all the time comes up for parole and he's gouged a swastika in his forehead. I'm better in many ways, yeah. <laughs> Charles, what would you do if you got out? I'd kill everybody! Whoopsie! <laughs> because what are we dealing with? One of the fundamental things is in a jihad. That sounds like a country western term, like jihad! <laughs> but if in a jihad you kill an infidel, which I am said to say is all of us, and you yourself die, you go to heaven and you are greeted by 71 dark-haired virgins. Now, anyone who's ever been with one virgin is going, I don't know. <laughs> For my talent portion, <clears throat> no, no, no. And recently, there was an article in the New York Times, the Koran scholar said, the actual translation is not 71 dark-haired virgins, but 71 crystal clear raisins. Slight difference in interpretation, really. That's very strange. It's like finding out thou shalt not kill is thou shalt not wear a kilt. And the Scottish are going, fuck off! No! And imagine some guy blows himself up, goes to the gates of heaven saying, where are my bitches? Here are your raisins. Or 71 Virgils going, you got a pretty man. <laughs> Well, one day we get Osama bin Laden, he goes to the gates of heaven. There's George Washington waiting, going, how dare you defile that which we created, and starts wailing on his ass. Seventy other members of the Continental Congress come down and start kicking the shit out of him. And then he's going, what is this, where are the virgins? Seventy-one Virginians, you asshole. <laughs> get out of here, get out of here. I must talk to Jesus Christ. Where is Jesus Christ? And St. Peter goes, hey, Jesus, did you call a cab? Come here. <laughs> Finally, the PC. We crossed the politically correct line. It was okay to beat the shit out of him, but don't do the ethnic joke. <laughs> How Buddhist of you. Yes. Remember when they destroyed the two Buddhas? What would Buddha do? Nothing. What does the Buddhist terrorist do? Goes in the middle of the street, takes the gas, <laughs> self-barbecue. People killing each other in the name of God are going, the fuck are you doing? Making you deal with your shit. Because I don't understand the whole fundamentalist thing. You see, I'm, I'm an Episcopal. That's Catholic light. <laughs> it's kind of like same religion, half the guilt. It's frightening. <laughs> you know, Catholics have confession. Episcopals have Thanksgiving. Your dad has a couple of gin and tonics. <laughs> I never loved your mother. You know that, don't you? <laughs> no, I didn't, Dad. And she's right there. Tell her again. <laughs> because you have to realize, the Episcopal is basically Church of England, which was Henry VIII breaking away from the Catholic Church, going, I'm the fucking Pope now, ha, ha, ha. He broke away, and then people broke away from that church. They were Calvinists. They found him to be too loose. And then there were the people who broke away from the Calvinists. They were the Puritans, our ancestors. People so uptight, the English kicked them out. <laughs> How fucking anal do you have to be for the English to go, get the fuck out? <laughs> no, take your pimp shoes and go. And they land here in America going, hello. 
We bring you guilt, syphilis, and alcohol. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. Here, Chief, try this. And once you've drunk it, just keep moving till your feathers float. There you go. <laughs> and the Indians go, oh, but we have a gift for you. For us, it's a sacred herb. But for you, it'll be an addictive carcinogen. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Tobacco is a lot of fun. <laughs> and a good cash crop in the end. Seven. <laughs> Welcome to Custer's, a casino that cares. This is my wife, sits with a full house. It is now time for the white man to get drunk, and we will get back the land you took from us. Thank you. And here's the thing. All those people, the Puritans, they stayed here, and then their groups broke away from them. And then you get the people that really become severe, and the people who knock on your door at 6.30 in the morning on Sunday going, Have you found Jesus? And you just want to come to the door nude and go, no, help me look for him. Come on. <laughs> yeah. You get people like Pat Robertson and Jerry Falwell said, this was brought upon us by our sinful ways. I want to put him on a plane, take him over to the Ayatollah and have worldwide fundamentalist wrestling. <laughs> One time only, a life after death match for all of our souls. Let's get ready to humble. <laughs> because here's the drill. Fundamentalists take it to be the word, not translatable, not metaphorical, the word. In the beginning, Genesis, let there be light. Could that be a metaphor for the Big Bang? No, God just went click. <laughs> so you're saying we're all descended from Adam and Eve, then we're all cousins. That's right. <laughs> Here's the thing. There are miracles, though. There's miracles in the Bible. Like when Moses, and I'm not talking guns and Moses. No, I'm not talking. <laughs> Not Charlton Heston going, let the Jews go, the Pharaoh gets two in the head. No. <laughs> Charlton Heston, a man who said, guns don't kill people. Apes with guns kill people. <laughs> no, Chucky, no. Second Amendment, it started off, it was muzzle loaders, people going like this, and this still continues. That's okay. But I'm talking about the time Moses said to Pharaoh, let my people go, and Pharaoh went, in your dreams. And Moses called the God going, God, I need some help. And frogs fell from the sky. Maybe they fell from the sky, or maybe they were Jews with catapults going, no! <laughs> and thank God it was the Egyptians and not the French, because the French would go, lunch, okay? Why should we let you go, you great caterers? I can't let you go, you crazy people, huh? <laughs> but frogs fell from the sky. At that point, I'd be going, get your shit now! The frogs, I said, wait a minute. That's what we should do, that's what we should drop on Afghanistan. Not bombs, not food. Fucking frogs. Frogs, lizards, hamsters, gerbils, shit they haven't seen. And if you want to get people out of caves, a shitload of New York rats. Oh, baby. You know. New York rats will be going, hey, come on, raid. <laughs> I eat pussy literally. Bring it on! But that's what they dropped in. And even then, Pharaoh was not plus. He was, oh, please, David Copperfield, no. And then boils, and then firstborn dies. That's it! Hebrews, get out! And everybody, Banish Tadanoi, everybody! Hello, let's not wait for the bread to rise. Let's take the crackers and the skin off your penis. We're leaving! <laughs> Excuse me, why the skin off a penis? We're traveling people, you don't want sand in there. Let's go! <laughs> and this is so passe, the dicky thing, forget it. Let's move! We're going through the desert, and then they get the Ten Commandments, would be adjusted by certain presidents. That happens later. And they get to the Red Sea there, the sea, the sea. And they go, what now, Mr. Magic? What do we do now? What, are we going to walk on the frogs' box? With the frogs' box? Frogs' backs. <laughs> Thank you for watching me this far. <laughs> Obviously, I did inhale. <laughs> so... What do we do now, Mr. Big Shot? And he calls to God again, and the sea pops. And even the most doubting Jew is going, you're good. <laughs> let's go, everybody. Come on, everybody, let's move. Don't eat the shellfish. I'll tell you why later. Let's go. <laughs> Where are we going? To Jerusalem to start years of struggle and later to Miami to fuck up an election. Let's go. <laughs> I love our and then the Pharaoh comes, but the sea closes, and he calls to his cat-like God, but his cat-like God can't do shit, because he's afraid of water. <laughs> and then there's another miracle. The night that Mary said to Joe, Joe, 
I'm pregnant. And Joe went, holy mother of God. And she went, you're right. Oh, Jesus Christ. What a great name, Joe. That is so much better than she